Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiasts. Today we are featuring a 1986 Toyota Land Cruiser, better known as an FJ60. That means this is a uh, four-speed manual transmission with a carbureted engine and a manual choke. And this is a very uncommon car uh, in the condition and uh, shape that it's in. This is a two-owner car, clean title, clean Carfax, and all the service records. We have about a three-inch pile of service records. Uh, which includes recent service uh, dating back to the original invoice. We've got the original invoice uh, of purchase for this car. It's got four brand new tires on it. You're looking at an FJ40 rim and hubcap. Uh, this is an original paint with the exception of the hood and the top which were a little oxidized so they've been repainted and as you can see there's no rust, no deterioration on the paint at all. This car's always been garaged. It's in excellent shape inside and out. It's all original. It's even got the original AM FM stereo. As you can see the bumper's in great shape. Uh, the current owner just did about $1,400 worth of work on it. Replaced the exhaust manifold uh, and intake gaskets. New EGR valve. Uh, as you can see, as I'm going to walk through here, so this is a very common area for rust uh, for FJ60s. And as you can see, the paint hasn't even, there's absolutely no signs of deterioration at all. It's the first rig I've seen like that. Um, most of those at least have some kind of surface rust on them. So this has been a very, very well cared for rig. Uh, this gentleman put a, uh, he built a custom made pet barrier, um, which I'll talk about a little later. Uh, hauls his dog around, he's got a rear cargo mat. There is absolutely no, um, kind of or even hint of pet odor in this car. It's a, uh, it's been a weekend driver and um, I mean it's just an unbelievable condition. This is a very uncommon uh, paint color. It's kind of a slate metallic gray. As you can see it's, I mean this car is perfect. It's, uh, it's about as good as we have seen in here. There's no leaks. Uh, doesn't look, uh, there's no moisture. Uh, well there's moisture on the under Neath, but uh, no drips in the main seal gasket or the oil pan gasket. Uh, everything's buttoned up down there. Now I'll just walk you through the interior here real quick. So the door panel. So I, I swear to God, this was came from the factory. I've I've <laughs> I don't know if I've seen one without a tear in it, but um, we have replaced them. This is uh, we've just left. The seats I believe have been rebuilt. Uh, they definitely feel like they've got enough support in them that they've been reworked. Uh, so I'll walk you through the interior here real quick. As you can see, the dash is in great shape, no cracks. That's original. You've got, um, so in here you've got the original books. You've got the original stereo. I mean, this car is just in beautiful condition. Um, so center console, two original keys. I'll walk you through the back real quick. <clears throat> so this is the service stack of service records. As you can see, it is a significant uh, pile of paperwork we've got, dating all the way back to, like I said, the original invoice. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, this gentleman has uh, custom built a, uh, a pet barrier in here. This is uh, powder coated PVC piping. He's bolted that into the uh, handles, which we still have, so this could be unbolted very easily and you could take it back to stock uh, by just replacing the handles. As you can see, the upholstery is in great shape. I mean, this is this rig is in immaculate condition. Uh, the door panels here, uh, just like the other one, are in great shape. Um, I mean, I don't know. We've seen a bunch of these come through our shop. We're picky about um, carrying these things. This is probably as in good shape as any I've seen, and certainly uh, the documentation um, dating back to the original invoice is as good as I've seen. Uh, we've got this priced at thirteen nine nine five. Um, it's not going to be the cheapest line cruiser you're going to find, but I'd be hard pressed, I think, to find a better one. Uh, if you want additional information or have questions about it, please feel free to contact us, and you can reach us at five zero three two two seven. 2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.